It's good to be here. When 700,000 people are stopped and frisked every year, and nearly nine out of 10 of them have done absolutely nothing, nothing wrong, it calls into question and doubt the NYPD's mantra of courtesy, professionalism, and respect. It creates an atmosphere akin to martial law. The very oppression that so many people from around the world came to New York to escape. When nearly nine out of 10 people who are stopped in frisk are people of color, it becomes impossible to not call it for what it really is, racial profile. Right. Being stopped and frisked is not a minor inconvenience in the name of public safety. It is deeply humiliating to the individual, their family, and their friends. And when it's based so much on what a person looks like, it is racial profiling that has absolutely no place in the city of New York, whether it's by the police or anyone. Defenders of stop and frisk often compare this past decade under the Bloomberg administration to the previous decade. They love to cite the reduction in the number of murders. The reality is that in the prior decade, murders were already on a steep decline in this city, perhaps because of the Safe Streets program that Mayor Dinkins put in place. If you look at the trend in this decade, it becomes even more dubious, those defenders of stop and frisk would argue. In 2002, there were fewer than 100,000 stop and frisks. And there, there were about 585 murders in the city of New York. In the year 2011, there were almost 700,000 stop and frisks in the city of New York and there were 515 murders. I don't know where the proof is in those numbers that suggest that stop and frisk is responsible for decreasing the number of people getting killed. That the defenders say that stop and frisk is necessary to save lives. It's not there. This is the policy that if, if it had not been in place, who's to say? that the murder rate would have declined even more, except for the poisonous atmosphere that this bad practice has injected into so many communities in the city of New York. Join us on June 17th, Father's Day, to send a very strong message, not only in this city, but across the country, to say that we will not tolerate any more stop and frisk, that racial profiling must be abolished in all its forms. Thank you.